Wellington and FHS Band. Welcome students, staff, family, and friends to the class of 2018 commencement ceremony. Mr. Ryder and the Vox Choir will now present the 2018 graduation medley arranged by seniors Colton Weber, Gunnar Matson, Mitchell Melvin, and Phoenix Hessler. She asked me, son, when I grow old, will you buy me a house of gold? And when your father turns to stone, will you take care of me? She asked me, son, when I grow old, will you buy me a for such a wonderful performance as per, our, as per always. Please give him another hand if you would. <laughs> Dr. Lori Knoll, Superintendent of Fairfield Community Schools will now provide the welcome to the 2018 commencement ceremony. so happy that the weather is the way that it is, the wind is okay, we'll make this and it's, it's a gorgeous day. So on behalf of Fairfield Community School District, welcome as we honor the graduating class of 2018. Graduation is a monumental day for our students, parents, and families as we recognize your accomplishments with deep respect and admiration. We not only celebrate your commencement, but those who have helped along the way, such as families, Fairfield school staff, and community members. It is an honor to be here and celebrate all of your achievements. You have been in training for this day since kindergarten. So, what is needed for a prosperous next chapter? 
First, reflect on your current experience, and then let's build on it. You have been successful so far. For example, you had a goal to graduate. You knew it would happen, and the date was set today, and you did it. You're here. Congratulations. Continue to set goals, even small ones. Vincent van Gogh said, great things are not done by impulse, but by a series of small things brought together. Set your goals and continue to improve yourselves. Successful people also get started right away. Possibly, you began Mrs. Gowdy's project the first day it was handed out and did not wait until the day before it was due. Successful people also think positively. It's not that Pollyanna type of positive, but the attitude and belief in your ability to achieve goals. I will pass Mr. Huckey's class. I will go out for a sport and improve my skills. So, repeat after me. I am confident. I am confident. I love challenges. I love challenges. What I learned from overcoming them will help me become successful. Thank you guys. So positive thoughts, they rewire your brain for your success. Successful people take action. Jillian Anderson stated, just remember, you can do anything you set your mind to, but it takes action, perseverance, and facing your fears. Prosperous people are determined. Make an unwavering commitment and you will accomplish great things. Many of you participate in extracurricular activities. You took higher level classes. You may have persevered through some tough life situations. Some successful people make a commitment to further their education, read, invest time and money into themselves. For example, Bill Gates reads 50 books a year, and Warren Buffett, who's worth $74 billion, reads 100 pages a day. So successful people are determined. The first time you tried something, it probably didn't turn out so well. Have you looked back at your kindergarten drawing or printing? I'm sure your work looks a little different today than it did then. You were determined to graduate high school, or at least your parents were determined that you were going to graduate high school, and whatever obstacles interfered with your goal, they were pushed aside. There had to be some difficult days, but you are overcomers. There will be struggles, but also opportunities. The motto of the U.S. Marines, the difficult we do right away, the impossible takes a little longer. Have the determination to do the impossible. Successful people also attract success. What you think, you become. If you think you will be successful, you will become successful. If you think you can do it, you can. Visualize yourself walking across this stage, diploma in hand. Visualize going on a job interview and nailing it. Visualize putting a deposit down on your first house. Actions speak louder than words. You are successful, so show your achievements in your mannerisms. Surround yourself with successful people. Believe anything is possible, but remember, you have to work to make it happen. Take risks and stretch, and stretch yourselves. Do things that make you happy and proud. You have to like yourself and be confident in your actions. To really understand success, you must have some failure along the way. If you don't fail, you do not know what success really feels like. An ancient Japanese proverb says, fall seven, rise eight. Getting up that last time after falling is a step toward progress. Many are focused on succeeding that they will settle for less rather than fail at trying something harder. To have success, embrace failure. 
learn from your mistakes, and move on. Thomas Edison did not stop after the first attempt to invent the light bulb, but failed 1,000 times. He said it was not a failure, but 1,000 steps in the invention. Success also means to stretch a little outside your comfort zone. Abraham Maslow stated, you can either step forward into growth or backwards into security. Your next step is all about growth and learning. Success includes moving forward for an extraordinary life and having the courage to go against the tide yet continue to learn. You've experienced this too by being the first class of fifth graders to attend the middle school. That experience pushed you out of the safety comfort zone of elementary schools and into the big middle school and yet you learned and succeeded. Taking risk increases confidence but as you take risk, put in some parameters for each risky decision. Set goals, have backups, and measure the worth of the risk. When evaluating risk, ask yourself, what is your purpose, and does the risk help move you forward? Will the risk help accomplish your goals? If the answers are yes, give it a try. As success continues to follow you, you will start and complete many activities. Again, you have the experience and have practiced many firsts and lasts throughout your school years. Cherish the last because they will lead to new firsts. Throughout this senior year, I have heard parents and students alike say, this is the last football game, the last basketball game, the last parent-teacher conference, the last dance, the last musical, the last concert. Yet remember, only a few years ago, it was the first day of school, the first concert, the first parent-teacher conference, and the first football game. There are more firsts and more lasts in your future. With all of these things to think about, reflect on Helen Keller's advice. Your success and happiness lie in you. Resolve to keep happy and your joy and you shall form an invincible host against difficulty. Class of 2018, you are about to join the elite ranks as an alumni of Fairfield Community School District. Your names and memories will be etched in the halls of Fairfield High School. However, today, take every opportunity to enjoy this accomplishment. Success looks good on you. Congratulations, Class of 2018. Mr. Warren Schaefer, Fairfield Community School Board President, President, will speak to the class now. Thank you, Mr. Stone. On behalf of the Fairfield Community School District, I'd like to welcome everyone to this, this year's commencement ceremony. I extend this welcome to members of our administration, to our faculty, and most importantly, to our graduating students, your family and friends. You've all worked very hard to get to this point, and it really is worth celebrating. It is a perfect time to look back on all that you've accomplished and all of the good times that you've had along the way while understanding that your future is full of opportunity waiting for you to grab a hold of. Today, you're celebrating both an ending and a beginning. The ending is your education in our district schools. You've been taught reading, writing and arithmetic, history, science and foreign languages. You've had the benefit of dedicated, experienced teachers who are willing to challenge you to learn, sometimes more than you prefer. While the diplomas you received today signify that you've completed all the academic requirements for graduation, understand that they mean much more. Many of you have taken advantage of the wide range of art and music programs we have to offer, and many of you have participated and excelled in our athletic programs, learning the value of dedication and teamwork travel to other communities as ambassadors of Fairfield High School, whether it was competing on sports teams, in academic competitions, or with, or with many of our other excellent programs. All of these experiences have contributed to your overall education. You've developed social skills in interacting with your classmates and teachers, and you've learned to enjoy additional freedoms you've been granted as you've gotten older and the responsibility that comes with them. 
These things have helped you prepare for whatever comes next in your life. And that brings me to the beginning. You are ready to start a new chapter in your life. And it is a chapter where you write your story. You see, up until this point, you've been ours. Education was mandatory. Like it or not, you had to get up every morning and go to school. Now the choice has become yours. Many of you will go on to further education at colleges, whether they be two-year or four-year programs or trade schools. But these will be schools of your choosing in courses of study that you are interested in. And if you're, not, if you're not sure yet what your interests are, don't worry. Be patient. Leave here with your eyes and mind wide open, and you will figure it out. Some of you may choose to go to work. My advice to you is find a job that's interesting. But even if it's not interesting at first, give it some time. When you dedicate yourself to something, you may be surprised at the things that grab your attention. Some graduates have chosen or may choose to enlist in the military. To you, I say thank you. We truly appreciate the commitment that you will be making. Some of you will stay local, while others will move away or even move abroad. Take in the culture, observe the sights, and become an integral part of wherever you end up. Put down your cell phones and live in the moment. In closing, remember this. Even though you're smart, you can say, I don't know. Just because you're in high demand, you can say, let me get back to you. This will come in handy when your parents ask, when do you plan on moving out of the basement? Your reply, I don't know. Let me get back to you. Thank you. Congratulations, class of 20. Our next speaker will be Madeline Smith. Maddie was selected by her classmates. Uh, this will be exciting. Maddie always brings a pretty good message. So, uh, Maddie, you want to come up to the mic? and most importantly graduates hey it's Maddie remember we went to high school together <laughs> I'm well aware that you may expect a sappy and inspirational speech but unfortunately my senioritis has drained me of all of these ideals so bear with me as I try to summon all that I have left since they won't be back until August however while on the topic I'd like to testify the significance of these next few moments oh jeez Louise <laughs> so much. Okay. Before today, you would drag yourself throughout the halls of the beloved FHS, counting down the days until freedom and groaning about how it never ends. But here today, as you turn around and see all of the people here to support you and show their pride in your work, it doesn't seem all that bad. I'm going to take this thing off. I'm having a moment. I'm so sorry. Okay. And honestly, as I look at you and avoid prolonged eye contact, I get a strange feeling knowing that this may very well be the last time that I'll see you. And we've all grown up so much, and some of us even turned out good looking. <laughs> Adding on to that, so much has changed since elementary school. Corinne cut off all of her hair, the temperature of the atmosphere continued to rise, and Miley Cyrus switched her image up on us, and then switched again, and then again, and then back to a previous switch up. And as a class, we've changed. We've all grown physically, mentally, literally, metaphorically, allegorically, and I could never remember the last one, so sorry to Mr. Hosbon. But these changes are for the good, not only for us, but for society as a whole. You can't be Hannah Montana forever. The whole franchise will collapse eventually. Soon, some of us will be moving off to college, finding new niches, and realizing the beds stacked on top of each other leave so much more extra room for activities. You'll head down to the cafeteria, more than likely find the food you'll be eating for the rest of the semester, and begin to work on your freshman 15, or as my parents tell me, if I keep eating the way I do, the freshman 50. <laughs> or some of us will be headed off directly into the workforce and fending for ourselves. Soon we'll be moving into our own places, 
making a name for ourselves, and learning about taxes, credit cards, and all the other adult things. In these moments, you'll realize how much you took your parents for granted, and that it would have done you better to ask for help earlier than right now. And as the teenage invincibility hopefully wears off, you'll realize that it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to not know things and get back to them later when you're good and ready to take them on. And, as Mr. Schaefer previously mentioned, it totally applies to moving out of the house. So overall, this is where I'm headed. Don't be afraid of the future. In the words of Mad-Eye Moody from the Harry Potter series, constant vigilance. Be ready for what's coming. Expect the unexpected. And don't be afraid of change. In the wise words of Miley Cyrus, again, change is a thing you can count on. In this time of complete life switch-ups, know that the secret to change is focus. Don't focus any of your energy on fighting the old, but focus on building the new. Now I should probably wrap this up because I'm running out of corny jokes and the wind is a million miles per hour. Also, it's a million degrees in these robes. Congrats to the graduates for sweating it out in this unbreathable material. Never get out advice because it'll always backfire on you. Never listen to advice because it never works. Now here's my advice. <laughs> Strive for success. Persevere. It's not enough to just try in life. Don't stop believing. Drink eight glasses of water a day. Don't sell yourself short. Floss. And, as always, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Wayne Gretzky, Michael Scott, Graham Kuehl. Thank you, Maddie. Great job. It is always special, excuse me, Mr. Tim Bartels, FHS Associate Principal, will now present the students who have earned honors. I actually don't mind this weather because we don't look like crazy people swatting at gnats. Uh, the wind does that for us. I know what you're thinking probably too is, uh, did he wear sunscreen today? Uh, the answer is no on that, so that'll be fun later. I'm not alone. I'm not alone here. I did not plan to say that either. <laughs> Probably a bad move. <laughs> it's my pleasure to introduce the students who have earned high honors. I would ask that these students turn and face the crowd and their parents stand and stand when you are introduced. I would also ask that you please hold your applause until each category is presented. For Indian Hills Community College Area Community Ca Career Academy graduates, Taylor Blummy, Health Sciences, daughter of Martin and Sheila Blummy. Amber Nicole Book, Health Sciences, daughter of Jeff and Sue Book. Maria Amanda Alcar Carminado, Health Sciences, daughter of Antonio and Wendy Carminado. Ashton Drish, Health Sciences, daughter of Roger and Corey Drish. Aliyah Kensett, Health Sciences, daughter of Dion Kensett. Peyton Manley, Health Sciences, daughter of Wendy Manley and Jess Manley. Taylor Myers, Health Sciences, daughter of Karen Hewitt and Daniel Myers. Trinity Sammons, Health Sciences, daughter of Sean Costello. Madison Os Osborne, Business, daughter of Dennis and Bernadette Osborne. Indian Hills Career Academy graduates. <laughs> Following students earned honors, a 3.5 to a 3.69. Corwin Robinson, son of Megan Robinson. Peyton Manley, daughter of Wendy Manley and Jess Manley. Jolianne Swan, daughter of Mark and Heather Swan. Gunnar Matson, son of Craig and Rebecca Matson. Amaya Neff, daughter of Tammy Neff and Lynn Neff. Woo! David Wallingford, son of David and Barbara Wallingford. Anna Beasley, daughter of Amanda Beasley and Dan Beasley. Steeler Higdon, son of Stephen Higdon and Deanna Higdon. Hunter Hoskins, son of Brent and Mindy Hoskins. Honors. <laughs> Following students earned high honors, 3.7 to a 3.89. Aaron Haynes, son of Ron and Heidi Haynes. Jared Wilmon, son of Christina Wilmon. Wilmon. Phoenix Hassler, son or daughter, <laughs> sorry Phoenix. Daughter of, it was gonna happen to one of you, so sorry. <laughs> daughter of Noah and Tammy Hassler. Aaliyah Kensett, daughter of Dion Kensett. Colton Weber, son of Matthew and Amy Weber. Kristen Bernstead, daughter of Carrie and Christopher Nicely and Mark Woo! Bernstead. Taylor Myers, daughter of Karen Hewitt and Daniel Myers. Gabriella Pillay, daughter of Annie Pillay and Stephen Sweat. 
James Lyman, son of Kelly Anderson, Kelly Peterson, daughter of Ed and Nancy Peterson. High honors. <laughs> Highest honor for students, 3.9 to a 3.99. Madeline Smith, daughter of Curtis and Donna Smith. Kiersey Bland, daughter of Ben and Mary Munns and Matthew Bland. Kristen Doherty, daughter of Joe and Nance and Stacy Doherty. Ethan O'Neill, son of Mike and Sharon O'Neill. Bailey Dell, daughter of Jacob and Mindy Dell. Aluna Olani'i, daughter of Olabayo and Rena Olani'i and Christina Rincon. <laughs> Maria Amanda Alcar Carminato, daughter of Antonio and Wendy Carminato. Jackson Brown, son of Sarah Malloy. Camille Schaefer, daughter of Lori Schaefer Wheaton and Warren Schaefer. Destiny Stetson, daughter of Lisa and Larry Cook. Kelsey Hollander, daughter of Bruce and Nikki Hollander. Hunter Drish, son of Terry and Angie Drish. Connor Ryan, son of Craig and Rui Ryan. Holly Nelson, daughter of Sean and Heather Nelson. Highest honors. <laughs> Following students earned a 4.0 GPA for their high school career. Gannon Courtright, son of Jeff and Lori Courtright. Ashton Drish, daughter of Roger and Corey Drish. Hermela gerber daughter of Gofwa Arta and Gurma Tassam Tesma. Jordan Guzmani, son of Laura Guzmani and Felisto Guzmani. Blue Schultz, son of Doug and Chris Schultz. Sean Spurrier, son of Ron and Cheryl Spurrier. Excellence. In closing, I'd like to say just to the class of 2018, con congratulations. And last year I told the class, I uh, left them left with a uh, Post Malone comment. I can't think of a better one than uh, Dante Sanjiri. I'm going to quote him real quick. And uh, here comes the boom. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Bartels. Uh, so it's my turn to talk to the class for the last time. Um, I told them... Uh, a week and a half ago that uh, they're amazing and I will continue with that uh, they've been a class uh, I was actually interviewed on TV prior to coming downstairs they asked me what would you like to say about this class and um, I said that they have the I can mentality you say well what does that mean and that means uh, Maddie Smith coming to me and saying, Mr. Stone, can I paint a mural on the wall about bees? I said, sure, Maddie, go for it. And if you've not seen it, it's in the hallway and it's fabulous. Or it's Claire coming to me saying, Mr. Stone, we'd like to do this dress up on this night for this football game, and we'd like to get a pet bus going. Can we do that? Sure. That's awesome. Let's do it. Last week, uh, we had a really neat uh, opportunity, something that we've done for the first time. Uh, we started it with the kindergarten class, and I called the kid. It was their last day. They were going to be here, excuse me, the 25th. And um, we had 100 and, I believe, four kindergartners get off the bus, and we had ceiling tiles that are will be put up in the commons. They're labeled with their grade, or excuse me, their graduation 2013. Uh, that sounds weird. Uh, and uh, all the uh, seniors showed up and helped these kids hop around with on one foot or excuse me paint the one hand before it dried try to put it on the tile now that was pretty entertaining but honestly i would say more entertaining as we were doing handprints today footprints tomorrow and the seniors this was and there's still paint on the sidewalk it'll come off they were painting their feet, jumping up and out. I'm not sure who had more fun, the kindergartners or the seniors. But um, this is just a little bit about this class. Um, I, I've really appreciated them. Uh, this is my second year in this position. I know last year I said this will be a special class to me for a long time because it was my first. Um, but you guys have stepped it up a notch, so I appreciate that, and thank you for that. Now for the moment that we've all been waiting for. Dr. Noel, Mr. Schaefer, the students before you have met all requirements and earned all credits set by the Board of Education to earn a diploma at Fairfield High School. Marshals, please get the students ready to receive their diplomas. 
Maria Amanda Alencar Caminado III. <laughs> Sophia Gretchen Allen. <laughs> Andrew Saul Alonso. Cherie Beth Anderson. <laughs> Dwayne Cornelius Barnes, Jr. <laughs> Zachary Lyle Barnes. Anna Marie Beasley. Derek Lee Beasley. Hunter Glenn Bechtel. Jesse Lee Burleson. <laughs> Kiersey Alice Bland. <laughs> Taylor Ray Blummy. Natalie Paige Brader. Jackson Miller Brown. Amber Nicole Book. Cheyenne Rain Buchanan. Kristen Allen Bernstead. Claire Marie Christensen. Dante Sanjiri. <laughs> Jacob Lee Cook. <laughs> Corinne Elaine Corrick. Gannon Reese Courtright. <laughs> Kristen Taylor Doherty. <laughs> Megan Lynn Davison. Bailey Lynn Dale. Ashton Elizabeth Drish. Hunter William Drish. Ashton Bartholomew Errett. <laughs> Cecilia Faircrest. <laughs> Lu
Lindsay Constance Finney. Braden Knight Fischel. Ricardo Vasquez Gano. Clayton Edward Garrison. Hernella Derma Derba Merriam. Maria Fernanda Garon. Jeremy Lee Gorsuch. Austin Dakota Marinha. Abby Marie Gridley. Jordan Fernando Gizamani. Phoenix Elaine Hessler. Aaron Mitchell Haynes. Alexandra Hernandez. Steeler Michael Higdon. Macy Don Holderbaum. Kelsey Nicole Hollander. Hunter Bruy Hoskins. Tyson Stone Jordan. Aliyah Grace Kensett. <laughs> Gemini Lucas Korf. <laughs> Allison Mildren Crumboltz. Graham Otto Keel. James Ray Kirka. Lydia Elaine Larsh. Melissa Leaford. Cade Joseph Lisk. Brendan Wesley Lunsford. James Michael Lyman. Then 
Finnegan Edward Malloy. Mason Isaac Malone. Peyton Elizabeth Manley. Gunner Paul Matson. Mitchell McKinley Melvin. Taylor Ann Myers. Amaya Joe Neff. Holly Paige Nelson. Ethan O'Neill. Aluna Aro Oliani. Madison Catherine Osborne. Tyler Christopher Palmer. Cody Anderson Pearson. Kelly Marie Peterson. Gabriella Rose Palais. Ashley Dawn Poole. Alexandria Dane Price. Mitchell Lee Putnam. Gage Alexander Roach. Postumus Darren Javon Roberts. Devlin Robinson. <laughs> Connor Allen Ryan. <laughs> Trinity Alexis Sammons. Jose Santos Yemenes. Camille Florence Schaefer. Brittany Joe Schaefer. Christian Schultz. <laughs> C. 
Saban James Simons. Joshua Michael Sisler. Madeline Riley Smith. Stetson James Spees. Shayla Lynn Spray. Sean Alexander Spurrier. Destiny Ann Stetson. Dakota Allen Stordo. Shania Lynn Stordo. Maxwell James Sullivan. Julianne Lee Swan. Alexis Marie Triska. Braden Joe Unkrich. Lucia Dominique Gabriela Van Dyke. Brady Michael Wall. David Edward Wallingford. Colton David Weber. Logan Mitchell Williams. Jared Scott Wilmot. I would ask that the Student Council Co-Presidents Natalie Brader and Hermela Giver Miriam come to the podium. Class of 2018, please turn and face the audience. Class of 2018, please move your tassel from left to right. This brings our commencement exercise to a close, and all students will be dismissed to the bell tower. Students, please remember that you need to go to the commons to pick up your diploma. Thank you for coming today, and please travel safe. <laughs>